today's lesson we are going to look at trigonometric substitution calculus lesson 104 let us start we need to find the integral of 1 over square root of 2x minus x squared dx using trigonometric substitution now we can see that this form is not simple for us to actually see which substitution we need to use so we need to first complete the square so we have 2x minus x squared rearranging this we're going to have negative x squared plus 2x first thing that when we, we need to do we need to take out the negative we factor out negative we have x squared minus 2x from there we introduce x squared minus 2x plus negative 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 squared minus negative 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 squared we simplify inside the bracket we are going to have negative 1 squared and then negative 1 squared is positive 1 and then multiply by negative you're going to have negative 1 and then from here we group the terms with a raised to the power 2 and then we actually distribute this negative we're going to have negative x minus 1 squared plus 1 so from here we can rewrite this as square root of negative x minus 1 squared plus 1 dx and then we can further rearrange this and write it like this 1 minus x minus 1 squared dx now you can see that this is the form of a squared minus x squared and then you know that this form we are going to let x to be equals to a sine theta now 1 is the value of a and then x we have x minus 1 squared so the value of x is actually x minus 1 the value of a is 1 so with this information we can generate our equations a squared is equal to 1 so it means a is equal to 1 when we take out square on both sides now x is equal to a sine theta now we know the value of a which is 1 so it's x is equal to 1 sine theta which is the same as sine theta but we need to be careful we said that x the value of x is actually x minus 1 so we can just put x minus 1 And then from there we need to find the derivative of this we know that the derivative of a constant number is equals to zero derivative of sine is actually cos theta d theta now with this information we can simply substitute 1 minus we said that x minus 1 is equals to sine theta so we have sine theta squared and then dx is cos theta d theta 1 minus sine squared theta we can actually multiply cos theta and 1 is cos theta d theta
cos theta square root of, we know that this is an identity. This is equals to cos squared theta d theta. Cos theta, square root of cos squared theta is simply cos theta d theta. Cos theta over cos theta is actually 1 d theta. Now the integral of 1 is simply theta plus c. From the equations, we, saw, we said x minus 1 is equal to sine theta. So it means theta is equal to sine inverse of x minus 1. Now in this case we can plug theta as sine inverse x minus 1 plus c. This is our answer. That's it for this lesson video. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.